What's good out there, YouTube fam? Micho Micho Gaming bringing you another video. So, um, as, as of the making of this video, room removal is next weekend. So, I wanted to make a, the rest of the video series that I've had started with my energy room set. So, I realized the mistake I made in that video, and um, I'm trying to make up for it with uh, this video set now. So, I waited this long to make it because I didn't realize the mistake I made in the last video, and I had sold off the remaining rooms that I had. So, it was kind of pointless to try to make um, a video about which rooms to keep when all of them were gone. So. I'm gonna go through my rooms today. Um, I'm gonna do a video on each set and then, you know, send it out. And I got my trusted dog Remus behind me. He's trying to get up in the, in the camera. I don't know if you see him. There he is. There he is. Can you see him? There you go. All right. So, without further ado, um, I also wanted to uh, do a quick little update. So, I finished my project with my. Uh, mass six stars and the fodder is ready I may make a little bit more than what I originally said which was 30 we'll see I don't know I haven't counted it up yet but um, I also uh, got my second Lucian so I'm ruining him, him up as well and instead of making the 36 stars before next weekend I'm gonna wait until after because I want to use this time to farm runes for those monsters and for my Lucian so I'm gonna spend pretty much the whole weekend after. I'm trying to get them bossed up. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, so we already did energy rooms. So let's go ahead and just go through, I'm just gonna go through the sets I got. So, okay, we got vampire. All right, so let's see here. So for vampire, right? So vampire rooms, you they're primarily for your attackers. And normally the way you wanna use vampire rooms is you don't wanna give the monster too much HP. And the reason why you don't want to give the monster too much HP when you're using a vampire rune is because it's based off the damage you do. So if you have a huge pool like 40,000 HP and your attack only does 3,000, 35% of that is what you're getting healed, which for a 40,000 HP pool is nothing. So what you want to do is you want to go higher attack, higher defense, and don't not too much HP. I mean, you want to have some HP so you have like a little pool, but you don't need maybe like 15,000 to 20,000, I guess at the max 20,000, but not even that. But you want to make sure that if you go high HP, you got to have higher attack because that's where your kill comes from. And you want to go defense so that way you make up for the fact that you're lacking HP. And so that's a good way to think of it. And if you're going to do RTA, um, after a while, your HP pool goes down, but it never affects your defense. So that's a very good thing to remember. So, and um, also another thing too, it doesn't. So like, Vampire won't work on Lin because her skills are based off the enemy's HP. Any skills based off the enemy's HP will not work with Vampire set. Now, like with Khan, where his third skill is based off of his own HP, it will work. Molong, it's based off his HP, it will work and it will kill you based on the damage that's given out. So excuse me if you know I'm drinking some soda. <laughs> so, you know. I'm trying to be all professional. Alright, so let's go ahead and start going through this rune set. Um, like I said, you this should be no reason why they this kind of set should be on a support type monster. Alright, let's see here. See? Let's go up here. There we go. Alright, so this one, I kept this one all one because it's a legendary room and it's HP set. So, like if I was going to build um, a Ramagas or if I was going to make a Rakan, this would be an okay set to put on said monster. Now, this one right here, I kept it well because it has resistance because even though people always talk shit about resistance, I love resistance and so... I always try to put as much resistance as I can on my monsters because you never know. It, it, I know it's all, every, this whole game is based on RNG, but that one attack, RNG may be slightly more in your favor because of the resistance. So I also kept it because it has crit rate, even though it's low, a low ball crit rate, crit damage, defense, and attack. So it has all the attributes that I would want on a vampire um, room, which is attack, defense, 
and of course crit rate and crit damage. So that's why I kept this room. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one. I'm trying to make this fast. I'm not trying to, you know, waste too much time into this because I, I just hated the fact that I did like 10 videos and all those videos before had to, you know, jettison them off, you know, and re um, restart. Okay, so this one right here, it's another five star room. Now, I, for me, I, it doesn't matter if it's a five or six star room, okay? Because in the end, like right here, if I was to max 15 this room, it's gonna go to 51%, and if it was a six star room, it would go to 63%. Yes, it's a 12% difference, but you can also get that difference from other room substats. So just remember that. So you, it's, it's always good to, don't throw away a room just because it may not be a six star. Five stars are very viable. Now four stars, only if you're very few beginning, but even four star rooms, I wouldn't waste too much mana on them. You want to keep your mana for the five and the six star rooms. Preferably the six star rooms, but for the five star rooms, like in this example, I kept it well because it has speed. So if I have an attacker that is not really speed reliant or I can, um, how can I put it? I, I can also make up for the speed in another room. So this is like a placeholder room. So right here, it has resistance, it has accuracy, and it has crit damage. Now I'm hoping that the rolls go into crit damage um, because I don't really, an attacker doesn't really need accuracy. I mean, it just depends on the monster. But you know, if you have a monster in mind that needs accuracy, then it can go, but you really want it to go to crit damage because you want to maximize your hits. All right, so that's why I kept this room right here. Now on to the next room, which is a legendary six star. Okay, so I kept it. Why did I keep it? Okay, so I made it plus 12 because I wanted to see where it would go. So I kept it because it had speed, so I can grind the speed up to the max of 10. Accuracy is good because it has 11. It came with crit damage. It, has, it rolled into attack as well. So it rolled into attack, um, accuracy, and maybe the HP. Yeah, I think it went to HP too. So the HP one, I could always uh, I could always use a gem and turn that into a crit rate. So then af after I turn it into crit rate, then it would be a great room, you know? So that's why I kept this room. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one. I'm gonna try to just, I'm looking right now and I have quite a few, um, quite a few rooms. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this one right here. Again, you're, following, you're seeing the trend now. So I kept this one because I want the crit damage, all right? So I'm hoping that it goes into crit damage. If it does not go into crit damage, I will get rid of this room. Okay, because I'm not really interested in the flat HP or um, HP on this rune set, okay? Because I'm talking about the vampire rune set in this video. So based on the vampire rune set, I know that I don't want those stats. Okay. All right, next one. Okay, so this one, it came with a max roll um, as far as, uh, I guess, uh, given, I don't know what they're called, but you know, what... The, the automatic substats or whatever you call them, I don't know. I know there's a name for it somewhere, but it came with a max roll of 8% attack. It has crit rate of 6, HP of 7, and 5 speed. Now, I'm hoping either it goes into speed or crit rate, and I'll be a happy camper. But once again, my um, my attackers that have vampire runes, I'm not seeing them as being super fast, but I want them to be kind of fast. I want them to be about 160, 170. That, to me, that's a that's a really good uh, range of speed. If you can go higher, great, but if you can't, it's okay. Because I know in this room, if I was to have speed five on all six rooms, and I was to use a grind that went up to, let's just say five. So then that five would be 10, so plus 60 speed on your monster. Does it make sense? I hope it does. All right, we're gonna go on to the next one. All right, for, for this one. So it came with, uh, Crit damage of seven, which is good. Um, a, a resistance attack accuracy. All right, I don't want it to go in resistance because I like the resistance where it's at. I want this room to go into attack. If it does not go into the attack, then I'm probably gonna get rid of it. It depends. If it goes into resistance once and attack twice because it is a hero room, then I'll keep it. But like I said, this is, I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself. This is why I would keep this room. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna skip a few because I got a lot of these. I'm gonna go to the last one. Okay, so this one, plus, um, plus five. it's a five-star room. It came with attack, has resistance, HP, crit rate. So as you can see, 
These are the stats that I'm trying to keep for my monster. Now, I don't mind having the HP as long as it doesn't go into HP because I can always get a grind that could be between, I guess, that from the rare um, grindstone, which is 3%, the lowest to 10%, which is the highest from a legendary. So if I was to put a legendary on it, it would go HP 17%. Or if it goes, like, if I get um, a hero, it will go um, up to 7 so that will make it 14%. So that's why um, I'm not really, I don't want it to go into HP because I know when it comes to vamp runes, I don't want too, too much HP on my monsters. So in this case, I would want it to go into crit rate. If it goes into crit, uh, resistance, that's fine. But if it doesn't primarily roll into crit rate, then I will give it a this run. Okay, so I went through it enough of the slot ones. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into slot twos. Okay, thank God I ain't got a lot of them. Okay, obviously it's attack. Yes, I want attack. I, it has crit rate. Okay, flat attack. Hey, it's attack. I'll take it. HP 5%. Hell, every rune that I get when it comes to vamp always has HP on it. I don't know why. So in this case, I will want this rune to roll. All three rolls go into crit rate, not um, HP. Um, if it goes into HP with this rune, I'd probably still keep it. Um, if I roll to legendary and it does not go into crit damage, then I would um, use an enchant gem and change the, either the HP or the flat attack to, i probably change the HP into um, crit damage. And the flat attack, I will keep the flat attack because if I have uh, a legendary grind stone, I can just throw that bad boy on there and I can make it what, plus 30, so I can make it um, like, you know, attack plus 47 or something. So that will, come, will really, really benefit this monster and give him that extra boost of attack. All right, for the next one, defense, okay. So this one I would keep for any kind of defense type monsters, like the tanky monsters that I want to. I want. So what I'm what I'm thinking about doing um, is I want to build um, some tanky units on vampire, so that way I don't have to run them with um, a support. I can just run them by themselves and they can just heal themselves up. So it's a thought. I'm gonna put it in a process. I'm not gonna say who I'm gonna put these on, but I'm just gonna say that. Um, out of these 36 stars that I'm going to do, some of these are going to have these kind of runes on them. And I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to stimulate minds out there and just trying to get people to realize that you don't have to follow a certain build. You can make your own fun builds and it, when it works, you feel like a mad scientist, you know? <laughs> so, okay, so back on the subject. I kept this rune because, well, it's a defense percent for those defense type monsters. Speed, I love speed. Crit rate. So in this case, I would want the three rows, one row to go into speed, three, two rows into crit rate, or all into crit rate. That's what I would hope. Not saying that's going to happen because that won't happen probably. This one, another one where it's it's a um, five star attack rate. So it came with three percent crit rate. It's not a lot, but it helps because I have monsters out there that are ninety seven percent crit rate and they need that three percent, and this would help that monster. Um, in this case, I would want the rows to go into speed. Like I said, may, may not, but that's why I kept this rune. So it's a rare rune, and I kept it because it has speed. Speed, every every rune should have some speed if you can. If you cannot, if you cannot um, find speed on a rune, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. But eventually, you would want to replace said rune with a rune that has some speed. Because speed is king in this game. Okay, so now we're going to head down to slot three. This one right here comes with... Accuracy. Okay, I want this. This is a um, five star. I will want both rows to go into crit damage. Okay. Now let me see how far we are along in this video. Okay. Okay. Never mind. We're just gonna go. Fine. Whatever. All right. So here, crit rate. Yes. Speed. Yes. Defense. Of course. So I will want these two rows to go into speed or defense. Okay. Next one. Came with defense, yes. Uh, attack rate, I mean, attack, crit rate, yes. Accuracy, I'll take it. Speed, yes. So this one right here, I would want it to go into crit rate or speed. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to run along here because you guys, my, your time is very important to me as well. And I wanna give you the best content. Came with speed, okay. Crit rate, defense, crit damage, all. You know it, all right. So I would want those to go into crit damage or crit rate, whichever. Okay, a six star one now. Okay, crit rate and speed six. 
either one I'm happy with. It doesn't matter. It can go one and one or two and one. Either way it goes, I will be a happy camper. Okay, next one. Crit damage defense. I would want these two rows to go into crit damage. But defense, hey, I don't I don't really want it because to me like I will I want I want some mm, to my pen. I want to, mm, double up. Mm, mm. Alright, enough uh enough typo for one for one video. Alright, so this right here, attack, I don't know who I would use this on, but the subs are great. HP, crit rate, and speed. Five speed. So I don't know who I would use it on. Maybe if you want to build a Sky Dancer that you can do something interesting with this kind of a build. That's if you want to do that. Uh, but I have no idea who I would, who I would use right now with this build, with this room. But I like the sub stats enough to keep it for now. I'll probably sell it later. Okay. <laughs> well, obviously. I, this is a beautiful room. Uh, I mean, crit damage. These are hard to come by. Crit damage, uh, six stars. Slot fours. Defense, okay. Attack, yes, I need that. Speed, yes, I need that. I would want this to go into attack, both rolls, because speed, this is for like a good heavy hitter. All right, you want you want this on on your Tyson. All right, now we're gonna go over to the slot fives. Okay, slot fives. What do we got here? It's a five star room. Has attack crit rate. Need I say more? Either one, I'm happy with. Okay, this one, crit damage, crit rate. I would want to go into crit rate. So as you can see, like throughout through, through all the rooms in my vampire um, arsenal here, all of them have either crit rate, crit damage, speed, or attack on their rooms. So that's why, like, that's why I say know know the type of monsters you want to build with these room sets, or what you have in mind, or the ideal monster you will eventually get. Always, always have a little foresight because you don't want to save tons of rooms, run out of space at the wrong time, and then you're stuck with, okay, which ones do I sell, and you make the wrong choice. So it's always good. And also, here's a, here's a key thing too. Let's see, let, what you can do, sorry, my mind's kind of going everywhere and I'm trying to hone in here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you um, something here. So if I was to sell this room, I will get close to 11,000. Okay. Now, it is a rare room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you an example of how you can power up the room. And you're not you're not wasting take it to six, take it to, to the rear and see where it goes. And then that way you can make a determination right on the spot if you want to keep it or not. So let's see here. It's 500 for the first one, okay? So okay, then the next one's gonna be 950. I'm not good with math here, but I think it's 1400. Okay, so we're at 1400. Now it's gonna go up to 2800 because we're gonna take it to three, okay? So we've been, now it's 28 mana spent. It went into crit rate. Okay, that's cool, I like it. Now we're gonna go up again, okay? So this one's like 2000, so I'm gonna be losing myself. So it's 5000, okay? So now we're going up to like 7500. And now, now it's almost to where it was at um, if I would've sold it. So now I'm going above. How many times did, that, did it fail like that? Okay, so it went to resistance. So I spent about, I'm just gonna say 20,000 mana. Now I get 10,000 back if I sell it, or 11,000, close to 11,000. So I, I, I sacrificed 9,000, but now I see where this room went to. And I can make a decision right now, do I wanna keep it? Let's, let's say I'm running low on the space. It's always good just to chuck it and move on, because it's a rare room, so you can always you know, get some later. In my case here, I'm gonna keep it because next weekend is when I'll make my ultimate decision. So that's a good way to see like where rooms go and which ones you wanna keep. And you can always do that on the spot. If you get a legendary room that you wanna see exactly, like, you know what, I wanna know now. I bought it from the shop. I got it from a drop. That rhymes. Got it from a drop. Bought it from the shop. Yo, all right, enough, uh, enough battle rapping for one day. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. So this is, a, I'm not sure if I went over these. Really. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Okay. So this covers my uh, vampire rune set, uh, breakdown of, of, uh, of the rune set, and also the type of runes that I personally am keeping for rune removal. All right. So once again, this is Micho, Micho Gaming. Hope you enjoy this content. If you like this content, hit me with a YouTube trifecta, which is like, comment, and subscribe. 
again, I am out of here and I'm going to go on to the next video.